I've travelled to Dugard today. I'm in Hove on the south coast. I've come here to look at a range of machines that we have covered briefly before. It's the XP range of machining centres. If I just show you the brochure here, you'll see that, that there's actually five models on this page. We're going to look at four today. We're going to look at the 760, the 1000, the 1350 and the 2000 XP machines. And we're starting here with a 1350 model. I'm going to open the door for the, uh, for the camera. And as you see inside the machine, you're going to witness straight away a machine that has a, a very generous working envelope here for larger component manufacture. It is actually a 1350 x-axis machine by 640 in the Y. There is also a 600 and, uh, 660 millimeter z-axis, which is quite large for a machine of this size. What Dugard do push a lot on this is the tool changer. A lot, of, a lot of machining centres have kind of 22, 24, 30 station tool changers. This range or this range of XP machines actually comes with 36 uh, tools, or the, certainly the 1350 model does come with 36. They're BT40 and it is a 12,000 RPM spindle. Some of the niceties that come with this machine is the fact that you can opt for either a FANUC control uh, with uh, the manual guide software or you can go for the Siemens control which does have the shop mill software as well. We also have things like uh, the wash gun uh, facility, the a hand wheel on the side of the control unit and, and the control is actually on an, on an arm here so you can see you can, you can manoeuvre it quite easily to get into the machine. We've also got coolant flood wash around the machine. The XP range is a mid range of machining centres quite uh, bigger ball screws, bigger guideways for, for kind of a stiffer working, um, working uh, environment. Onto the second machine here, this is the 1000 XP. This is, uh, this coupled with the 7.6 is probably the best sellers. Uh, meter machining centers do tend to be the, some of the most popular machines in the UK. You've got 1050 in the X axis. We've got 540 millimeters in the Y axis. And again, I think a big point to push on this is the 12,000 RPM spindle with the 36 station BT40 tool changer. They're pretty fast machines as well in their movement. They do have 44 meters a minute in their rapids on the, the majority of their, their axes. And with the 1000 here, uh, I believe that this has actually got an auger, but I believe the machines are now coming with swarf conveyor scraper types. On this machine here, you've also got um, storage here for tooling and so forth on the side of the 1000 XP machine. Again, this machine is a Siemens control, so this would come with the shop mill, you have the hand wheel and the control is actually embedded here slightly differently on this on this model. Um, again for ease of use it kind of keeps it neat and tidy really. On to the 760. This is the smallest machine of this range, this mid-range of machining centres. Uh, in fact we're going to see this machine cutting in a minute. This is, has a 762 x-axis, a 435 in the Y and 520 millimetres in the Z. It's got 16 and a half kilowatt spindle motor, so it's powerful as well. And again, it does have the uh, 12,000 RPM spindle. This machine is a small, mach a smaller machine incentive, but it does have the side mount tool change on it as well, which does give you the 28 stations. Small footprint, just over two meters by uh, just under two meters. And again, Siemens control, Fanuc control is an option, and you can have the Heidenhain controls. But importantly, I know our viewers and engineers like to see machines cutting, so uh, I'm now going to press this cycle start button, and after this, we're going to go and have a look at the bigger machine in the range, the two metre. So then here we have the largest machine in the range, in the XP range. This is the 2000 XP. This machine, as well as the others, does come with the 12,000 RPM spindle. What I didn't mention earlier as well is that they all have 20 bar through spindle coolant as standard. This machine here, Dugard do actually sell a lot of machines of this capacity. In fact, they've sold over a dozen machines this year of this size. You can see as you go into the machine, this machine is actually sold, so it's going through its PDI check at the moment. 
and this will run for a few hours in order to um, in order before before the machine is shipped to the customer with this machine as well we do have the bigger the bigger tool changer so we have the 36 station tool changer but it, in all when you come to look for a machine that has a bigger working envelope and you're looking for maybe two meters or you're looking for that bigger y axis this does have 850 millimeters in the y and over two meters in the x you've got an 18 and a half kilowatt spindle motor on this and even a machine of this size still moves at 33 meters a minute so we've had a quick look round today at the XP machines. We've looked at four of the models. There, are, there is actually five. The 1600 XP is in the range as well, which offers you the same options or the same specification, but it's just got a, a 1630 millimetre X axis and again an 850 millimetre Y axis. Kind of summarising and looking finally at the brochure here, as uh, machine options, you can have things like fourth axis units, Renishaw probing, and tool setting. But collectively, this range of machines is a popular seller for Dugard. It, it fits into most machining environments, whether you're looking at a very compact machine as a, a 760 machine with, with lots of uh, speed and power, or you want to go for a machine with a bigger working envelope to do more structural, larger components, you can do that here with the 2000 XP. What's even more impressive is that all of these machines are available here in stock and very competitively priced. So you can visit Dugard's website at dugard.com.